Welcome back. So for this lesson, what we, what we want to do is we want to create a level that our character can roll around on. Now we don't have a player yet, but in the next lesson we're going to cover that. For now, let's just start with making the level. Uh, and the way that we're going to do that is we're actually going to be creating an entirely new scene. So here I'm going to click on the plus button over here, and I'm going to create a new 3D scene. Now, how do we actually go about adding a mesh? The way that we're going to be doing that is you can see over here there's this plus button that says add child node and the shortcut is control and A. So I'm going to do control A and what I want to do is I want to create a mesh instance 3D. Um, now you see it's still invisible. There isn't a mesh selected yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to mesh and there's all these different meshes that we can choose. I'm going to choose a new box mesh and if I click on this little drop down menu here you'll see that there's all these settings that I can go about and change. I'm just going to make a platform for now, just a simple platform. So I like to uh, use the inspector panel. I don't recommend using the scale tool just because uh, you'll see down here that the scale changes but the size doesn't. Um, Godot encourages you to use the inspector panel and to use the size options instead of using the scale tool for a few reasons, but I'm not going to get into them right now. So I'm going to actually reset that using this kind of uh, little loop icon here. I'm going to reset that so that way it just goes back to being a regular cube. And I'm going to set the, in the size panel, I'm going to set the Y to point, uh, I think point two is good. And then another thing that I'm going to change, I'm going to make the x axis 10, and I'm going to set the z to 10 as well. I think that looks like a pretty good platform, so pretty cool. Now, another thing that we need to do is we need to add collision. So, how do we go about doing that? It's actually fairly simple. What we want to do is we want to come up here to this mesh drop down menu and you'll see here it says create trimesh static body. I'm just going to click that and it will automatically create the static body and the collision shape for me. And you'll see on the collision shape it's this shape that conforms to the shape of the mesh instance 3D. Pretty cool. So we didn't actually have to do much to get that to work. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to ground and then I'm going to hit Control and S to save the scene and just save it as ground.scene. Okay, so now that we have our ground scene, what we want to do is we want to come back over to main. You'll see here in main we still don't have anything, which is fine. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to instantiate the other scene. We want to instantiate our ground scene into the main scene. How do we do that? Well, there's a couple of ways. One way is we can hit this chain link icon up here. Another way is we can hold down Control, Shift, and A, and you'll see all of our scenes come up. Now, we're not going to instantiate the main scene into the main scene. We want to instantiate our ground scene into our main scene. So I'm going to hit Open, and there's our ground scene. Now, why do we want to instantiate this? I'll explain why. Now. Say if I want to make a change, if I want to maybe change the size of this or change its color, I'll show you how to do that. Um, if I were to change it, uh, if I were to just make it directly in here, I would have to go through all the settings and yada yada. Um, the cool thing about instantiating scenes is that I can make the change in its individual scene and that change will be reflected here in the main scene. I'll show you what I mean. So I go to ground and I'm going to go to mesh instance 3D. And if I go down to, uh, I think it's under, where is it? If I go to geometry and I go to, if I pull out this menu, it says material override. What we want to do is go to this drop down, new standard material 3D. And you'll see that the box just got a little bit whiter and if I click on this drop down menu and I go to albedo 
and I change the color, there we go. So we can actually change the color of the platform. Pretty cool. Now, if I change the color of the ground platform in the ground scene, will that change be reflected in the main scene? Yes or no? Well, let's check. And it is. And that's because this ground scene was instantiated into the main scene. So uh, we're going to be experimenting with instantiation throughout this course, but it's an extremely powerful and effective method of creating different types of objects, levels, scenes in Godot. So experiment in the ground scene, and I'll see you in the next lesson.